What up, Edge Runner gang? Hey, gang, gang. Chris and Nicole are back at it again mm -hmm. with another reaction and discussion mm -hmm. of Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners Season 1, Episode 2. Like a boy. Quick recap of the last episode. Mm -hmm. We got introduced to our main cast. Right. And our boy David Martinez had quite the terrible day. I know. I feel so bad for him. His <laughs> mama died. Yep. He got like harassed by literally everyone. Yes. Especially Katsuo, the yeah. bully. The bully. And lastly, after the end of it, he was just basically through with it and he was about to get chromed up. Mm-hmm. With an illegal military grade cyberware. Yes. He began to get sandivistianed up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> but before we talk about that, mm -hmm. we want to talk about what we're going to be watching today. Today we're going to be exploring the dub after much request from you guys, from the community. Mm -hmm. We are trying to listen to you guys, so we're going to try this episode two out right in english yeah i don't know it was so like really close so we thought we sh we should at least give it a try yes even though the votes are primary uh, it's pretty close it's but close. it's mostly sub actually at this yeah. point but this is the first time we were going to be watching anime in dub since yeah. what cowboy bebop yeah it's been a long time you guys for us so yeah let's check it out yeah but before we do that i feel like we have to say Thank you guys! We finally reached 5k subs! Oh yeah! Yeah! So thank you, thank Big you, thank you! Big milestone for us, Big guys. milestone, you guys. Like, I remember talking to Chris about this and being like, man, what would it be like to reach that, like, that milestone for us? So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support mm -hmm. and it really, really means a lot. And I'm so happy that, like, you guys are all enjoying our content that we're doing. Like, it's, it's hard. There's some days it's really hard, but you guys keep us going and we really appreciate your support. Most definitely. Thank you guys so much from yeah. the bottom of both of our hearts. Yeah. It means so much to both of us. Thank you. Yeah. Let's share our love for anime. Together, <laughs> yeah. buddies. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And let's watch. Let's go. I from the fuck up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> the hell out. Wanna sell her my offer. Can't afford me. <laughs> He's still <laughs> ill. Still going. He's still using that thing. That, that is an advanced <laughs> flashlight. I know it does the thrusting for you. I do. Ooh. Ooh, that was pretty sick. That Haitian accent, though. Oh, Ooh, he's going for it. Oh my it. gosh, he's awake. Ew. Yeah, we ain't got no like anesthetic or I know. anything. No. Ooh, Ooh, the, the intro. intro. I really hope we can show this, right? I think we can. Franz Ferdinand, Ooh, right? I'm into it already. Looks so cool. Uh, it Love does the look use cool. Of color. Everything, yeah. The color is nice. Oh, look at ooh. Oh yeah, this is sick. This, this is. is F fire. F fire! Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Many Fs. Uh, oh my god, look at the typography, it's cool. Yeah, let's go, Trigger! Oh. Imaishi Sensei! Ooh. The head of Trigger. My boy, original employee of Gainax. Hey. Oh, he's going to school still? He's oh, chromed he up? Yeah, he is. Oh, oh been... the blood Ooh. stains. You so have to hard. beat up Kasuo. Oh! oh. <laughs> hard. Oh! oh. <gasps> Let's oh. go! What a badass. Come on, he, this man deserves oh it. Oh my god, oh, they, this is so cool. Kasuo's down. Yeah, he Ooh. beat him up. Oh, look at him. Again with the... Ooh. Ooh. Let's go! Oh, it's slow oh. now. It's slow. Yep. That's the uh, time slow for the Sandivistian. Might be pronouncing that wrong again. Sandy? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh. oh! He might have some broken bones. His fist can't handle it. 
Ooh. Oh damn! Look at him, hella scared now. What happened, bro? Ooh. Ooh. Still didn't get a spell, but. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? Whoa. So fast. What's the cooldown on? This? I know, right? Oh no! Yeah, he's gonna get in trouble yeah, now. He's gonna get like, expelled. <laughs> He should have kept the jacket on. <laughs> you bring me footage of my own son being assaulted by a no father. Mother was recently killed in a traffic accident. The academy. No Must father, huh? Notice his movements. Mystery. Use the Santa James Norris had been equipped with at the time of his death. Oh, they know. Oh. No apparent side effects stemming from the implant. Ooh. Ooh. His tolerance for cybernetics could make him a prime candidate to test the product. Ooh. 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 Spicy. He was expelled, sir. Oh, he was expelled. Oh, okay, he was expelled. Yes, sir. And what? Your son. It's high time he learned what it means to serve <laughs> the company's best interests. <laughs> hey, you were taking on the chin. Yep. Yo, they like it. I know, they like it. Has been formal contacted us to request... Oh, you should have listened to that. Mm. I am so fucked. <laughs> hey, he has enough money to finish his laundry this time. Good. Yeah. What's he gonna do? <laughs> He's oh hanging out with those guys now. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Ooh, mysterious girl. Oh, she's there. Follow her. She gonna try to. S oh! Yeah, catch it midair. Catch it. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. She looks cool. There's quite the outfit there. Uh oh. Really? I don't think so. Yeah. So what's my cut? We'll split the hall. 80 20. What? <laughs> 80 toys. I'm the one who'll be pushing you. I'm Lucy, okay? Name's David. Oh. Bring me clear. Crystal. Ooh, good. It's on. It's on. Yeah. Chill, noob, chill. <laughs> noob. <laughs> she called Three. him a noob. Three trippy suits. Yada, go. Ooh. The two, two brain dance glazed. Ooh. Big fish, big loot coming mm. out. Sounds no Ooh. Doesn't scream corpo to me. Yeah. Tired muscle. Two. Ooh. Wait. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Nice, nice. We blew this car dry. Gary. Next stop, we ghost. So we can get away. Wow. I'd say you're well worth the 20%. Hey, it's 30. <laughs> kidding. Fine, maybe. Damn, what? Whoa. Bleeding. Uh-oh. Nosebleeds? Too much. Oh my gosh. So bad. Hey, lady, we just passed the hospital. Oh my. <gasps> oh. Oh. This kid got nipped back and relax and will. Uh-oh. You like cut a deal with some scavengers? I said sit back and chill or we'll probe you for chrome too. You're back to 20. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, let's go. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is too crazy. Straight out of the wow. I know. Ooh, this Look it. I love the colors. Oh my gosh, she's insane. Yeah, she's insane. She's <laughs> falling in love right I now. I know, right? I mean, I kind of am too. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Damn oh, he did he for yuck. Okay. <laughs> A little dangerous. Mm, slightly. <laughs> Freaking you oncoming traffic on a man, you stretcher. Grown ass man couldn't take that punishment. Oh. I was fine an hour ago and then listen close, baby. Two a day, no more. Three Who? maybe, but that's the max. No bullshit. Wow. Oh. Your body can take it, that scramble me up. Well, that's Ooh. different from the game. Me a cyber psycho. And nothing. Something? Of course not. Shut up, will ya? Sit down, relax. Beer's all I got. You
Seriously? Hey, though. So it is your first time. Is this the? Oh, he's just okay. a he's kid. Just, yeah, he's just. I wouldn't tease you about that. I'm telling the truth. He's trying his best. What's with the get up anyway? Mm -hmm. Take it off. What? Take it off. Just do it. Wait. Oh. Don't mess with that. Come on. Edge runners. Oh, that's oh. where it comes from. Cyberpunk. It's who you like that. Kind of gonk poster. Got a problem? Ooh. Ooh. No problem. <laughs> Whacked me out. Oh. Interesting to see it like from that. a non-Earth perspective. <laughs> Come on, got something to show you. Huh? Who? Brain dance time. Whoa! Check out this resolution! <laughs> I can feel the fucking sun! No way, this is totally preem! <laughs> preem. <laughs> you look ridiculous! <laughs> Nova, huh? Fucking awesome! Nova! Oh, he's killing it with this music. Man, though. the music is feeling it. Another one to add to the Spotify or what? Oh, show. <laughs> oh, they're sharing drinks. <laughs> First time I've shown it. <laughs> I think you and I'd make a pretty good team. Mm -hmm. I think so too. <sighs> you fell over the edge, punk. Oh. What? What? Tough oh. deal, bud. Oh, Lady. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Lady. Lay what? that was a perfect Damn. scam. That was so it good. It was working on me. I know. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That is bad. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Ooh, this is the first time we get to hear the uh, ED. Oh my Check god, I didn't. I can't even, believe that. I didn't wow. see that coming at all. I thought it was real. I was like, oh, I was like, oh. it's, it's a, such a nice movie. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I love it. Ooh, very moody. I Ooh, like it. Yeah. The music kind of reminds me of um Death Stranding. Yeah. No, totally. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it is it churches? Mm, I don't know. We'll have no. to check. No. Okay. But but it gives me that kind of like Yeah, that feeling. That feeling. Yeah. I love and the colors are always so cool. I love the like shading where the it's just not even dark colors. It's straight up like a bright ass pink, neon yeah. pink like this for the shading. Yeah. Such so, like high contrast. Yeah. Like triggers typically known for those really high contrast, really colorful and dynamic like scenes, but this is like taking it up to like eleven. Yeah. Oh, it's so short. Hmm. Ooh, another yeah. pretty good one. Ooh, I liked it. It was like a cyberpunk dream. But it was actually a nightmare. Yeah. At the end, it turned out to be a nightmare. Yeah. It was a trick. <laughs> yeah. Man, hmm. that got me, though. Yeah, that I got was me. Like, oh, man. I was so like, oh. oh they're, they're getting along so know, well. Especially oh with the uh, the whole, we make a good team. team. I know. She's such a good liar. She's a really good liar. Yeah. But, yeah, there's no way she was operating alone, you know? No, definitely not. I you think there's definitely signs that later I was like, when we rewatched it, I was like, oh, okay. Mm. Definitely not working alone. Yeah, so note, we did rewatch it in Japanese. We did, we did. Is that a joke or what? You called it a prison camp. To me, this city's a whole lot worse. Imagine. <laughs> I don't know. How'd you feel, Nicole? Did you feel like you like the Japanese? Oh. Did you like the English? I don't know, man. I'm really torn, you guys. So, like, I can understand why the poll is so, like, really close. Because, yes. like, 
I, I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed the dub. Like when we watched the dub, I was like, I was following along. It was good. I never felt like the voices were like Wrong. not in sync. Especially, yeah. especially Lucy's voice yeah. since it was the first time hearing her. Hearing it, it, it was, felt right. Yeah, like I felt like everything was but good. The like the Japanese voice oh, felt, felt so, so sultry. Good. It was oh, so no. like sexy. No. I loved her voice Me in the too. Japanese. I mean, like everyone actually, like even rewatching it, and I know how Katsuo sounds, especially like you know the bully, and I'm like. Man, his voice was so good. I don't know. There's there's something about the Japanese VA that is very like they have very and like the slight. Ripper dog, my have... boy Kenjiro Suda sounded so good. I know good. he sounds so good. But I don't know. Apparently, that's the only time we're gonna I know, hear from that's him. That's kind of it. But like, there's definitely it, like subtle that... nuances to like the Japanese VA that I, I feel like I don't know Ooh. if it's because we've watched like literally almost all the anime in in Japanese that yeah. we've ever seen. I'm still so, really inclined towards the sub, not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of going towards sub, but there de I definitely didn't dislike the, the dub. No, no. The yeah. dub is actually really good. Yeah. Hmm. Still on the fence. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, honestly, we're watching both. We watch the dub just right now, and then we re-watched it in Japanese just yeah. right after, took some notes. Yeah. And I don't know, man. I'm still on the fence. I can see why it's so divisive. I can see why there's both sides kind of you guys yeah. just arguing like, no, the dub, no, the sub. <laughs> yeah. No, I really, really do. Because there's really nothing wrong with both. Like, I've, I'm really liking both. It's rough. It's rough. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get down to breaking down this episode, yeah, the second so episode good. here. Yeah, it was um, it was quite the quite the introduction to our new, a the brand new, new character, character that Lucy, we've been waiting for already, yeah. Right, and um, yeah, it it pretty much um, that it it takes off exactly at the end of the second of the first episode, yep, yep. and our main character David gets chromed up here. Yeah. Yeah, like, dude, it was so satisfying. Mm -hmm. It was so satisfying. Man, this was such an intense scene. It was really hilarious that I thought that um, uh, the Ripper Doc, as he's having this conversation, he still has the <laughs> fleshlight situation yeah. going and on. The fleshlight actually has its own like. Yeah, it's like pneumatic. It's like automatic. <laughs> yeah. That's something that we don't have yeah. in, in our time. Hands free, you guys. Hands free. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could do. You could do uh, everything else. You could yeah, be you on the be, computer. You could be writing you can a even book. be driving. Yeah, maybe so safe. <laughs> I wonder if that's against the law and in uh night city you know like having a flashlight going hands While free as long as it's hands free and you can drive at the same time uh, because like uh, there's a lot of <laughs> like stuff about like us not using our cell phones at the same time yeah because it's not hands free but right? if you're hands free it's all good so i mean if you think about it maybe we can use these flashlights in the future hands free no problem right i don't know <laughs> i mean you definitely don't want to have a little orgasmic moment while driving also that, I don't might, know. that might be too much <laughs> anyways very intense scene here of yeah. the installation of the sandinistian oh, i know and he was awake he's like biting like some like i don't know uh like i don't know like <laughs> those like like horror scenes where they see people like sawing your arm off and you they're like bite this stick yeah <laughs> <laughs> man it's so intense yeah. it looked like with no anesthesia no. maybe i don't know it looked pretty rough yeah it looked and it was, he was still bleeding when he went to school and then the deal was if he if he wants this the sandivistian removed then he gives it to the ripper doc for free yep but yeah what well, yeah he gets it installed and then it jumps to the intro sequence here Ooh. this is the first time we get to hear yeah. the intro song by france ferdinand mm -hmm. um it's very stylized yeah. um yeah what do you think of it it was good um i'm surprised that i'm it doesn't have like more information i feel like i'm used to seeing anime intros kind of giving a hint of like what happens uh, what's or to come what's other to come. yeah i, I feel think like there probably was there it was inside yeah, maybe, of the characters it it's like you so see the little, silhouette yeah. of the character yeah, yeah and there's yeah. like stuff happening inside and maybe it's there, it's there but, there, but, we, but just we just couldn't tell it. yeah i guess maybe i'm used to seeing a little bit more but to me like it was just kind of all colors and stylized and it looked cool like i, I liked it yeah. And also the it music... didn't give away too much though. Yeah. Sometimes in Somet anime intros, yeah. it gives away like yeah. what's gonna happen in the in the rest of the right, anime, right, right. kind of like spoilery. But yeah, you know, true. this one wasn't spoilery. No, but I it do. also didn't quite give me what I wanted. Sometimes like anime intros, they really flex their animation. Like yeah, um, true, true. Like they flex their animation like muscles, right? Yeah, and then like you get this to see some like do. cream. You get some preem animation in yeah. the intros, but some here, Nova action. Yeah, 
I mean, there's tons of examples of like yeah. really amazing yeah. anime intros with awesome uh, animation. Here, I I'd say it was a bit lacking in the yeah. in the prem animation, but yeah. I mean, I still enjoyed it. Yeah, especially because I think maybe, the song maybe I was expecting just like a little bit of like some character like hints of like oh who's hmm. that person. I feel like sometimes intros are at least like who's yeah, that yeah. guy most or who most you know like ooh. you get to see like some yeah. handsome boy character and you're like yeah. who's that? Who's well, that? that's that's what Nicole did, typically. <laughs> yes, always. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was it, it at least left us guessing, yeah. definitely wanting more. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I still enjoyed it for that. Um, and then it jumps back to the academy. Mm -hmm. He is about to confront Katsuo here. Kicks yeah. him straight Dude, out of the chair. I, I have to say, I really love this. Like, I was kind of like, <laughs> how is he going to do it? Is he going to like, after class? Is he going to like, sneak up on him and do it? No, like, during class. During just class, straight up middle of hits class. Hits him. Like, oh, I was like, yes. This was like, ultimately satisfying. <laughs> like, it was like, yeah, beat his ass. <laughs> straight up kicks him out yes, of the chair. Serious. And then, like, and then Katsuo was like, what? Come on. The, the not, cameras. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> and then freaking Dave is like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Let's go right now. <laughs> yeah. And then he walks in. His jacket is still bleeding yeah. from the Ripper Dock. So I'm yeah. assuming this happened. He right Just, immediately after yeah. he gets done with his operation, he goes straight to the academy, confronts right. Katsuo. Like just the fact that his jacket had blood stains still on it yeah. was so savage. I was yeah. like, "Damn, this guy do not give a fuck. He's about to beat this boy's ass." He he deserved every bit just because he all deserved that, way all that, more all than all that crap he was talking I on, know, the, on that message. About his mom too. Afterwards, he's like, "I heard your mom died." Yeah, but uh, you but, know, uh, you sucks know, for you. you. It was suck. such a mundane death because it was a car accident. It was like. Yeah. And then before that, he was insinuating that his mom was like kind of like selling herself yeah. in like a yeah, prostitute to, to, to pay kind for of way. Yeah. Honestly, that guy deserved much more than what he got. He yeah. literally got what like one punch in yeah. the face. That was it. And yeah. then he hit. He did fly across the room. But yeah. I mean, like David, he got he took multiple hits to the face, multiple punches to the stomach, and yeah. then he left. He got left in the gutter after. This guy talked tell the shit about his mom. Like, yeah, like David when he got in the, like when, after he yeah, got he beat. Went, up, he, in my opinion, he went really easy on. Yeah, on no, Kato. for sure because like when he beat David up, David didn't he couldn't even put his hands up. He was just like laying there like bleeding. Yeah, <laughs> and he was so. attacking somebody with no implants. Like yeah, that's messed that's up. That's too. That's too. So I don't know, but yes, he gets he ends up getting expelled, and then we get this yep. short sequence between the principal and Katsuo's dad, and we learn that Katsuo's dad is an executive yep. at Arasaka and is a part of the academy board. Mm -hmm. So we we hear this sequence between the principal and and Katsuo's dad, mm -hmm. and they mention slightly. Oh, and we get a name for the principal. His name is Marcus, apparently, mm -hmm. and it, they also mention that David has no father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. This sounds like an Ash Ketchum kind of thing. Yeah, who knows? His dad's too funny. <laughs> and then they also mention, like, after all this, like, he's like, why are you telling me about this assault on my son? But the principal goes, hey, he has a real tolerance for cybernetics, and he mm -hmm. may be a prime candidate for the product. Yeah, so they were well aware of what he had already. Yeah, so, like, Arasaka knows all about David at this point. Mm -hmm. They know what his potential is yeah. and they're kind of just watching him, I guess. Yeah, and they know he installed this illegal, unknown, like super military grade. Like yeah. as well, like yeah. um, implant, cyberware. Yep. Um, and they, and he actually asks to summon it. And they actually do. Later we see at, when David's at his apartment, they try, they try to yeah. summoning him, but David doesn't even listen to it. He's like, I'm so fucked, and then yeah. he doesn't even answer yeah. it. Can you imagine if he just answered it? Because, like, they were going to be like, hey, we'll give you financial aid for school. And, yeah. you know, knowing David, especially after everything happened with his mom, he would have been like, you know, she would have wanted me to mm -hmm. go back to school, but he didn't answer it. So yeah, I think the that turn this of was events a... is like totally different if he just answered or listened totally, to that phone totally. call. Imagine if he did, and then it would have changed the whole story yeah. here. Probably. I think he would have went to school. Yeah. Like in 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 his mom's like uh, yeah honor, you honor know? for sure for sure. And then the father even mentions that like it's time for Katsuo to really learn what it's what <laughs> it what it means to take a hit for uh, the company for the betterment of the company. Yeah, and he would have sucked it up. He probably would have maybe even apologized to Dave. That would have been funny. Mm, yeah, but um, in the end, 
he doesn't and then he's just take and then it jumps to them taking the or david on the light rail and he ends up meeting a the mysterious woman that we saw yeah. in the last episode yeah and um she is apparently a common thief and she's stealing uh these chips from everybody on the rails yeah one thing i have to mention here is that they're using these high-speed rails. This is something that was promised in the original game in <laughs> Cyberpunk, but we right. never got to see this in the games. You can't even use this rail system in the game. Maybe not yet. But you can see it here, which is amazing. I don't actually, I'm not up to date on the game as of now, as the current updates. Maybe you can, but mm -hmm. upon launch, you could not use any of these light rail systems or mm -hmm. any of these high-speed speed rail systems. And it's funny that they put it into this anime, even though you can't. <laughs> but yeah i mean she tries to steal david's chip and then he uses his sandivistian and super smoothly grabs her wrist yep and she's like whoa yeah and then they end up striking a deal to kind of work together to steal these chips from corpos so they end up having like a pretty good haul mm -hmm. and then she turns to david and he's bleeding out of his nostrils mm -hmm. here and passes out on the stairs. Yep. Man. So apparently he didn't have enough amino suppressants. Right. Amino suppressants. <laughs> I know. This is well, not something that's in the game also. Uh, like this is the first time I'm hearing of these amino suppressants. There's <laughs> like this is not a thing in the game. In the game you could just use your your cyberware as many times as, as you want. want. Right. Yeah. Can you imagine how not fun that would be though if you were yeah, in the that game? Would suck. Like how many times you could be like, oh we have but to go collect something. I get why they they kind of put a limiter on this. Because no, yeah. this this power is just OP. Like yeah. who, there's basically no one has this ability for the most part. Right. Even the the police in as we saw in the first episode, they they couldn't do anything to this kind of like time stop ability. Yeah. No Zab Waldo. Oh yeah. Or just like ultra instinct. <laughs> or Ultra Instinct. I, th I think it's even stronger than Ultra Instinct. Because, yeah. like, people are not even moving at this point, and yeah. you're just moving past them. This is, like, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, find, I feel like that, it's, it's kind of that, though, like, you're so fast that everything for everyone is either either stopped or so slow. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like Dexter's Lab, right? Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I did say that earlier. Yeah, Nicole said this. When we were rewatching, yeah, Nicole was Yeah, as we were like, rewatching, I was like, oh, this fellow, oh, I don't know if you guys watched Dexter's Lab, but there's an episode where Dexter's Lab, he puts on this helmet and it slows down time so he can do homework and like and then Dee, Dee is in the background like running in her pajamas and he's like look at silly Dee, Dee. the See. bus is coming and then he's trying to do homework and it catches fire because oh, yeah. he's, like he's riding, riding too and like, fast yeah. <laughs> friction <laughs> burn let me know if you guys know that episode of Dexter's Lab yeah <laughs> love Dexter's Lab yeah but yeah apparently he didn't take enough immunosuppressants right. and yeah this is not something that's in the game but apparently it's something that you take that kind of stops the your I don't know. Your what? implant attacking you. So yeah. I kind of feel like it's the same when you probably get like, um, you know. Um, kind of holds back the cyber psychosis a bit. Yeah, or the what? cyber psychosis. Or I feel like, you know, when you get like a transplant, like your body will attack Reject your. Reject it. Yeah, because yeah. Like it's it's foreign to your body. So I kind of feel like that's kind of the same for an implant in, mm -hmm. in cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's in the back of this kind of. Uh, uh, sketchy ambulance sketchy ambulance yeah. and then we find out that the person who is attending to david is actually a part of the scavengers mm -hmm. and she's trying to kind of steal his cyberware yeah and but she realized uh, how much it's worth yeah because he she recognizes a sand right 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 and then uh, as we know or as maybe you may or may not know from the game scavengers are a gang that's in the game that um, they basically harvest cyberware from unsuspecting victims, corporate people, normal people, and even other like dangerous people from gangs and whatnot. They really have no limits and they'll basically steal your cyberware no matter who you are. Mm. Um, but we see Lucy, she actually ends up saving. Yeah, she does. Um, in a crazy, in a super crazy way, actually. Yeah, in this like really crazy way. She's just like, <laughs> 
busts out of the back of the ambulance yeah. and then on, he's going towards the stretcher. oncoming traffic well, he's on the stretcher. On the stretcher and yeah. she's on top of him on the stretcher and they're just going backwards. And yeah, this scene is so cool. She looks is. so cool. Yeah, like, she does. Oh, okay, I have to say, um, one thing that I really, like, I noticed, like, there was this part where, you know, David is looking up at her and, like, he's looking at her face and she looks like she's having so much fun and, you know, all the lights are going by. Mm -hmm. And it definitely reminded me of the scene in FLCL when, um, Naota is looking up at Haruko mm. and she swings the bet and he goes, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and he just goes, in amazement. In right? amazement, but like also kind of falling in love. And it's yeah. that moment where you're like, I shouldn't be falling in love with that person. And I really got that, like, that feeling like you're getting taken right Hearts now. Of flutter. Yeah, yeah, getting like you're, taken. You're getting taken show. hard and it's you don't all even know what's going on. It's a scam, apparently. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. So then after this, she ends up taking him back to the Ripper Dock, back to him. And right. then she, they end up explaining that he needs to take amino suppressants. Mm -hmm. He can only use his Sandivistian two, ma max three times. I know, this was crazy to a hear. A day. And he used it like eight times? Eight times. Mm, so That's crazy. This is kind of something he can only use in extreme situations. Yeah. So I understand why they kind of put this hard limit on it and like we can't have this guy just be using it using on it cooldown once every yeah. 30 seconds just like pss, pss, all the time or yeah, else he's just going to be too strong. Yeah, right. He'll just use it all the time. I mean, if you think about when he first got it, he was using it to just go around and put his clothes in the in washer. The laundry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he was just using up. it whenever. So like, yeah, sick. he needs to be limited. Yes. Um, so they end up leaving. Um, there's a small reference here to the Sixth Street gang, actually. There's mm -hmm. a small... Um, like, like poster a poster or something? Post it's yeah. like a or, yeah, it's like yeah. a poster. Something it, on the wall. Yeah. Something on the wall. It's kind of like graffiti almost. Oh yeah, I mean, probably. Graffiti. But yeah, if you guys don't know, Sixth Street Gang, they're basically a group of veterans, ex mercenaries, people who are military trained, who turned into like a gang for people who have no place because mm. they're ex military. They don't mm -hmm. have a place, and they end up doing gang related things like extortion, robberies, and whatnot. Hmm. But yeah, and then it also kind of make, begs the question, is the Ripper Dock a part of the Sixth Street Gang and why is it in his shop? He must be. He honestly must be. Mm. Maybe the Ripper Dock is ex-military as well. Yeah, I'm kind mm. of wondering about his past. Yeah. I doubt we're going to see any more since somebody said well, the only time we get to see him is episode one and two, so hmm. probably won't get much more information <laughs> on that. Mm -hmm. um, after this, they end up going back to Lucy's place. Right. Um... One thing I want to mention in her place, as they're kind of looking around, we see a bath full of ice. Yeah, that's already like a hint that kind of should have been like red flag. Definitely a red flag. <laughs> um, it's kind of hinting at what's going to happen in later yeah. in the episode. Yeah, and it's going to steal your kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe something a little... A little more important, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, they kind of like learn a little bit about each other here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we get a mention of JK's Edge Runner series. Uh, brain dance here it's mm -hmm. kind of i don't really know what this is i don't know what jk edge runner series is but apparently it's uh, another name for cyberpunk mm -hmm. and i don't know we see we get to see a little uh, bd chip later on that just says um jk's edge runner series uh and that's it i hope we get to learn a little bit more about this chip and what it really means to david yeah um but a we also learn a little bit more about Lucy and her uh, kind of brain dance that we see them go through in her apartment and they go to the moon. Yeah. Oh, even, I just want to like say one thing before that, like they kind of show this like um, still of like their hands next to each other with the open like wrapper. And it, the wrapper kind of like resembles kind of like of a like a condom wrapper. Mm. So like to me, like because I didn't know what a brain dance was yet, I was kind of like, oh, they're like gonna do it. They're gonna so it, it, either they're gonna do it or they're gonna they're gonna share this like intimate moment. Experience, which, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're kind of setting the tone of like their bonding. <laughs> so right, I feel right. like already like there was already kind of trickery afoot. <laughs> Yeah, and then so they put the wreaths on, they go through a brain dance together on the moon. Yeah. And apparently this kind of means something to Lucy because yeah. uh, earlier in the thing, he mentions the poster and she's like, you got a problem with that? Ooh, like, she got super serious. She gets serious. like offended, right? Yeah, because she, she actually, I feel like she actually like, had a dream. Her, she had yeah. a dream before whatever she started doing now. I think. What, to like go to the moon? Yeah, or like, yeah, go to the moon or like she actually had a dream to... To be part of something bigger, to make the world a better place, maybe, and then she started to maybe spiral down a different kind of pathway. Path, yeah. yeah, and and we kind of 
it's already hinted at like ro we always see rockets going up in the background yeah. here going supposedly to the moon here mm -hmm. but i mean during the game there's not a lot of mention of like spacecraft or going to the moon mm -hmm. as far as i know as much as the missions that i did i'm sure it's probably slightly mentioned but it's not made like a big, a big deal, deal out of like okay. we don't we don't we don't have any missions on the mm -hmm. moon or anything like that in the game as far as i remember mm -hmm. um but yeah i mean it's cool that it's mentioned here and it's something that wasn't mentioned in the game and i'd love to have some more exploration here yeah like apparently arasaka and miltech have some kind of mining situation going on on the moon but the moon is actually called luna apparently mm. and yeah i don't know i want to learn more about the moon yeah because we didn't get any moon shit in the game so yeah <laughs> but this whole sequence i have to say is really cool yeah um, i love the music it. here is really oh, amazing the music was so good All yeah of it, it was, was like it... this edm vibe you know yeah. like it, it felt really cool it's i like, really enjoyed feel it feel good like exploration it's like, oh, we're yeah. having fun no and then like you know he's following her and she has her hands and she's kind of going like this uh -huh. to him and, and he's I'm like, like oh man i can feel the, the sun rays oh. i know he's just like i turned it down you know yeah. so, just to, to mellow out the mood, you know? <laughs> yeah. Damn. And then, bro, like, they kind of feel like they're connecting here. I know. They go on, like, a buggy, and they're, like, going Having off, fun. and they're like, yeah. yeah. And they're just, like, enjoying each other, and then they have this really chill moment, just kind of looking at Earth from yeah. the moon. Yeah, kind of hanging their, their their feet hanging on the, hanging the dark on side the, <laughs> on the dark side of the moon. Yeah, kind hanging of thing. on the edge of the moon here, yeah. kind of, you know? So, and then she turns to him and says, like, I think we would make a really good team I know. and he's like i think so too i was Aww. like oh but then and mm. then out of nowhere wait, we see it wait before that her eyes flash oh her eyes her flash. eyes flash. so, so like, obviously she's getting yeah like you're so, saying yeah so the Nicole second time watching this. this like i was kind of like doesn't that mean she's talking to someone yeah, whenever, yeah, yeah. whenever they're talking to someone their eyes are flashing so it's like oh no someone said something there and then that, that's, that's when we get the message and then we get a little pop-up in the yeah. corner if you look closely it actually yeah. says main so this is the person Me. his mother, Gloria Martinez, was talking about exactly. to get this Sandivistian. You yes. know, this is the person who I I believe his mother was supposed to sell the Sandivistian to. Yes. And it says, you fell over the edge, punk. <laughs> and then it <laughs> says so Maine. Rough. And I believe we get our first glimpse at who Maine, Maine is, is. Yeah. with two other mysterious guys right yeah. behind them. Some gonks. Some gonks. <laughs> and then we see his hand get big and then pretty much like mm. knock him out yeah. and then we see a rocket ship kind of taking off at yeah. this point are we to assume that this is a rocket ticket they're in a rocket either they're going they're, to the moon i mean either they're going to the moon or it's just kind of metaphorically he got knocked to into space yeah, yeah. yeah basically and then we also i have to mention uh, lucy in the back just like chilling, chilling like smoking yeah just yeah. smoking she's like, literally like it, blowing o's like nothing yeah. mattered actually like all of that was so <laughs> that was fake. all so fake yeah it you was got just, you got tricked punk. yeah she just really wanted to sell that stuff. got scammed so hard yeah and yeah man i can't wait for man, the next one great episode another great one yeah. really really great world building here guys yeah i liked um, it the so music ugh, the music uh, the is animation yeah. what do you think i mean we really everything got to is see... pulling me in it's pulling me in you guys like especially the music i think the mm. music's really pulling me in and i'm like feeling it like mm, even though we got tricked really bad <laughs> but it's really good yeah and then we really got to see kind of um lucy's uh character design yeah like, for, for the first time would you yeah. actually want to ask you what you thought of her character design Ooh, i love it like i love i mean like already like when we see her i like her her asymmetrical hair and it has this like very iridescent like look to it mm -hmm. which i feel like when you look at all of the characters everyone is kind of like one color solid color but when you look at her she has the iridescent thing and then for um david his jacket on the back of the collar has that gradient so like i don't know mm -hmm. there's something just different differently designed for them and i like mm -hmm. it and i like her makeup too this like bright pink that's just like a little bit yeah on her like on her eye makeup it yeah. looks really nice yeah i, I like I it, it was really i do like that a cool. lot too yeah definitely definitely um and then we get to see the ed the ending sequence here oh yeah um yeah. really moody actually yeah. like i enjoyed this as well Yeah, like a total flip from the intro <laughs> yeah it, it was it was great as well yeah. it kind of like a real nice cool down from like such an interesting episode mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah i loved it as well uh yeah but i mean overall i thought it was great i can't wait to see the next yeah, episode so is, exciting. is there anything else you want to mention before we end this little conversation no 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 
no, it was great. I can't wait to see the next episode. Yeah, me too. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this, maybe go down below, hit that lickety lickety like button, maybe consider subscribing. It helps <laughs> Algorithm Senpai notice us that little yes. bit more. Onigashimasu, Algorithm Senpai! And lastly, we want to say thank you, thank as you. always. Yeah. Thank you make, for making it this far into yeah. the video, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We're having so much fun. And oh my gosh, you guys, the just the, the amount of votes and conversation that's happening yeah. for this like series so is So we don't know wonderful. what we're going to do, actually. Yeah, there were so many votes. We almost had 200 people vote. Yeah. Thank you guys for voting yes, and putting thank you. in... We your, appreciate it. Your, your answers, but yeah. I don't know. What are you leaning towards, Nicole? I don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. We'll see what we decide. We're still yeah. thinking about it. And yeah. we, the votes are still going. If you guys want to vote still, yeah. maybe put your votes in. Yeah. Let us know what you want us to continue, either dub or sub. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. This is probably it for us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again. Yeah. And we'll catch you on the next. Bye. Bye.